So one thing we noticed once we built this truck is that there's a bunch of body flex in Whoa. this thing. Body flex? Body flex? Uh, oh, I think I pulled the muscle. You all right? Go ahead. <laughs> when you drive this truck, you can feel the back end just moving all over the place. We're gonna show you just how bad it is. Going up. Now that's just lifting it. Look at that, just move like a half inch. That's not what you want in a race car. Now this is gonna get ugly. They're level now. Going down. It's quite a bit of flex. That's up here and that's down there. So this thing is both bowing in the center and twisting. Well, here's the deal. They make this exact same vehicle where the bed is actually part of the cab, which would be ideal yeah. for- We can't afford those either. We can't afford those either. No, not even close. So what popped into my head is why not make a unibody or help it become more of a uni unibody. So going to put some hockey pucks, bushings between the bed and the cab, drill them through, bolt them, reinforce them. That, and I think I'm gonna do a brace underneath the on the frame itself when we have the bed off and this thing will be solidly tied together and handle a bunch better. Okay, let's do it. Go. So we made a quick trip down to a local unnamed sporting goods store to grab some hockey pucks. They're made of a pretty solid plastic that we're gonna use as isolators. They're a little thicker than we needed, so we just ran them through the bandsaw and they're good to go. We're bolting our hockey puck isolators to tie the bed to the cap, and we've got the frame of this thing supported on the actual ground so that basically it's sitting at right height under its own weight, which brings the top of the bed and the cab closer together and keep it all level. Frame somewhat straight. Yeah, everything is leveled out. That's when you want to do any kind of framework, roll cage, bracing, whatever. The car should be sitting on its own weight. Yeah, if you don't, you do all that reinforcement and put it on the ground, the car looks... Yeah, crooked. Crooked. So when your friends come over, maybe your wife or your girlfriend come over and they say, you spend so much time in your shop, you have cards here? You have a card game going here? No, that's not what you have going on there. You use cards when you're painting wheels. You use them to protect the tire from getting any overspray on it when you are changing the color. The color we came up with is gloss colonial red. Well, we want to sort of give this thing an old school look. So we're gonna keep these wheels, which are 17s, and on the budget, we're gonna paint them red, put trim rings on them, and that should finish off the look of this thing nicely. Red wheels are all painted up. They look awesome. We're not done with these yet. Okay, Tony drove this last, so the square tires go in the rear. You got and it. And the round ones go in the front. So even though I'm using a chrome socket to install these lug nuts, don't ever use a chrome socket on an impact. They're not designed for that. They'll shatter, they'll break, they'll crack. Use an impact socket and always torque your lug nuts. Always torque your lug nuts. Going up. So here is the deal. We've got a bunch of giant braces that we made to support both the cab and the bed on this frame, but they're all going this way. Big factory support this way. Cab support, bed support this way but what we don't have is anything in this direction. So we think because the suspension pickup points are right here, let's get, we're getting a lot of flex from this. So we're gonna throw a couple of bars forward to tie it all together in this plane and hopefully stop the entire thing bending like this. When you're fitting two different angles together, it's a little bit tricky. Cut the angle just right, the way it's gonna go in the back of the frame here. Then I'm just gonna mark the ballpark line, and then I mark basically the rotation of the pipe by doing a horizon line. So these things, let me know, this is how it's gonna sit, and then I'm gonna cut it across. Beautiful. Gonna weld right in. Now that we've got our frame brace north to south, we can go ahead and install our hockey puck isolators as we marry the bed to the cab. That sounded expensive. I think that's gonna leave a mark. I did it, Tony. I did it, buddy. 
Now you can see all that flex we had before when raising the truck up is gone. Now I'll call that a win for a few bucks worth of sporting equipment. Okay, so we've got that gear start transmission in. We did all the chassis bracing, bolted the cab to the bed. And one final touch we're doing is trim rings to give this sort of like an old school look. A little red paint, old school trim rings. I'm putting those center caps back on and we'll have a sweet, nice look for this truck. All we gotta do is check the fluids on this thing, make sure it's ready to hit the streets, and then we're going out to have some fun.